What's up everyone, David Fala here, welcome to my channel and welcome to another tutorial. On today's video, we're going to be doing a modern kids, kids mullet. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to use a number four lever closed. And uh, the reason for it is because I want to start removing some of that bulk and start fading from the number four to the number zero, right? So in this case, how you can see, I'm going in a little bit because the top is going to be styled like a mullet. So I want to cut it kind of like shorter on the sides, longer and right in the middle. So that's why we're going a little bit more in that we will do with like pretty much any other haircut, right? So the first uh, guy we're going to create is going to be closed lever. We're going to use uh, wall seniors to create that to create that guide. In this video, I'm going to be using detachables just because a lot of people have been asking me to do videos using detachables. So here it is. So I'm going to, need to use my five zeros, which is equal to a trimmer. And then we're going to remove that all that um, the whatever excess hair we had. And then uh, now we're going to use a number one. So this is going to be equal to a machine close with a number uh, number one guard. Pretty much is going to be a little bit longer than the half and and that's kind of you can gauge it this is going to be now a number two so this is equal to a number two with the lever close so now we have a number zero we have a one and we have a number two this is going to give us enough space between the guides to kind of create a nice blend and have all the tones so now i'm using a three and a half detachable and this is going to connect with the number four that we did at the beginning so now we, all we're going to do we're going to start down fading we're going to start from longest to shortest and then uh and then if we need to touch it up then we're going to touch it up i don't have all the detachables that i will need to do the fade completely with all the detachables so i'm going to use what we have and then when i get to a point that i need to use my other trimmer clipper then i will use it uh if you're trying to learn how to cut with detachables you need to use pretty much all your your detachables you need to get a lot of different blades because this type of machines don't have a lever so for you to be able to create that nice blend you're gonna have to uh, angle the, the blade in certain ways use a comb or or use all the, the blades that you can have so right here i'm using a number one and a half i already used the two and a half i use the two and now i'm using the one and a half and then we continue down fading until we get to the number zero how you can see right now i'm fading between that guy that I created between the two and the one so now i'm using the one and a half for that now i'm using the one a this will be kind of equal to uh if you have a regular lever clipper, this is equal to a one with a lever open. And that's gonna help you blend that one and a half with um, with the number uh, one. So here I'm using the number one detachable blade. And uh, when, when you start going to longer, longer numbers, lower numbers, sorry, you're gonna have to start using more your corners. How you can see, I started going a little bit up with my one A, so now I had to like retouch the fade. Um, and that was it. After, uh, lower than a one, I don't have the detachables that I need. So then that, in this case, I'm using my machine. I'm gonna start with a lever close and I'm gonna open that lever little by little until that guide is erased. How you can see um, the fade on the zero is kind of more lower. So it will be, this will be more like a lower fade and it's just stretched out to the top. The reason for it is because uh, the client didn't want the zero to be too high, right? But he wanted the, not, not that much weight on the side. So this is how we kind of uh, adjust to that, right? So tighter fade, but the zero lower. So that's this is the result from that. Now I'm using my trimmer to uh, create that, that shape. And then on the bottom, all the way on the neck, I'm not gonna shape it. The client wants the natural. So I'm just gonna do the sides and you know, just create a nice line. I try not to push a lot, like press a lot just because it's a kid and you know, kids sometimes move and I don't want it to the machine to kind of cut them, especially when you have machines that are like very sharp. That's the last thing you want. So I try not to put a lot of uh, pressure. So right here, we're gonna start cutting the top. How I said in the beginning, the sides are gonna, on the top, the sides are gonna be shorter. So where the, uh, how can I explain Like the head rounds, that's gonna be shorter and towards the middle is gonna be a little bit longer. So we're gonna, it's gonna look like a triangle. Right. So with the parallel ridge ends on the top, that's where um, we're going to to start doing it longer. So pretty much what I'm doing, I'm just taking sections, uh, uh, horizontal sections, starting from the bottom, from the back, sorry, from the crown, all the way to the front. And that's pretty much going to remove some of that corner that I made at the beginning by going with the machine in. And just going to cut that out a little bit. And I'm not trying to cut too much, just a little bit, just so it spikes up. Uh, in this case, the client has finer hair. A little wavy 
you know, he's still little. Uh, so, you know, pretty much all, all we're doing is just remember a little bit of that length. How uh, you can see, I'm just, I started from the back to the front. Now I'm going backwards just to make sure it's all even. And that's it. So if you were going to, uh, once it's dry, you guys are gonna see that it's kinda gonna look like a triangle because that's exactly what we wanted, right? The shorter hair is gonna make the, the hair in the middle to spike up. And that's literally what we wanted. So right here, how you can see, I'm taking sections um, 90 degrees from the head just to kind of round that a little bit. And how I said, I want the middle to be longer than the side so that this is gonna um, give me that effect. Okay, now we're gonna cut the back. The back, you can see towards the bottom, the client uh, is letting the hair grow. So we're just gonna cut more towards the, the crown. So pretty much this is gonna be a square layer haircut. If you watch my last tutorial, I show you guys how to cut the back of a square layer haircut. And this, this is pretty much exactly what I'm doing. And I'm just, I just took a section right in the middle. And then all I'm doing is kind of pulling that, the, the, the next section to the previous just to create that very square. Um, line and towards the bottom I'm not gonna cut much because we're letting that grow uh, I'm gonna see once the hair is longer and the way we want it then uh, I'll record another tutorial so you guys can see how it looks once it's uh, long uh, everywhere where we need it to so right now all I'm gonna I'm going to do is gonna dry the, the top and uh, just so I can style it so uh, I'm gonna take the opportunity to talk to you guys about offering extra services right I think in 2021 um, clients are going to be looking for so because of everything that's happening with the pandemic and all that like a lot of clients are not getting haircuts as often as before right so i think a good way to get clients to come back to us is by offering them a little bit more right uh, and that can be just a little bit extra service so in this case showing your client how to blow dry their hair taking like five minutes just to show your client okay look you blow dry your hair this way you use this type of product teach them a little bit about products teach them a little bit about why blow drying their hair is the right thing to do and that little extra service that will take you like three minutes extra five minutes extra it will definitely add value to the client and, and you ensure that client is going to come back to you right i think that it's important for us to start offering a little bit more than just the haircut that customer service is everything and that's what makes client clients to continue coming back so you know that's a little tip and something that i use when on my clients i try to teach them how to use a blow dryer I try to teach them what product to use how to apply and all that stuff so like that they get more than just a haircut they get value they, they we build a relationship and then people continue coming back so that's exactly what 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 i wanted to recommend you guys so you can see here all i did i added a little bit of product uh for this type of hair I like adding more like a clay or maybe like a paste with not a lot of um of shine and then just kind of like all i do is separate that hair a little bit in this case the hair was a little bit short so i didn't texture it but then once it gets a little bit longer i'm gonna like, add some texture to it just a little bit to the tips just because the hair is how you can see it's a very fine because it's still little so i wouldn't texture it too much but it has a, a nice look and that's it guys that's the video i hope you guys enjoy it don't forget to subscribe and like it and i'll see you guys on the next one take care